Hello, everybody, and welcome to ATS. Today, we're going to be traveling into Wyoming. We have early access direct from SCS itself, and I really want to thank them for sending me over the code to try this out early and show it to you guys early. This comes out on September 7th. If you want to check it out, long awaited DLC. Can't wait to see what Wyoming has to offer including i believe that there is a new trailer and some other stuff so i'm excited it's an early morning here uh at the tip of where are we we are we are over here in uh i guess it's past sterling but we're over here in colorado and we are going to be making this trip we're going to kind of backtrack go through sterling and then come up through we're going to come right into and drive through cheyenne and then head up to gillette so we're only really seeing the east uh of wyoming the northeast um of wyoming but i feel like it will give us a uh a cool look at wyoming and a cool first look at wyoming as we'll be transitioning into there of course i'm going to be doing other wyoming videos and uh we're going to be looking at wyoming as a whole i would love to use the new uh trailer and what have you but yeah we're going to go through here um and i think it'll be a great trip we've got some flour i believe I think that's it. Also, I'm recording recording this on my uh, ultra wide monitor. I'm recording in ultra wide, but I am going to be. It's going to be an, a you know a uh, regular 16 by nine. So I'll do my best to show everything and not cut anything off. So let's get into it. Like I said, early morning here. I wanted to be driving into uh, Wyoming and not worrying about it being night. Uh, so I picked this up at night. Um, and we're going to be leaving here at 5 a.m. Uh, really, really early morning. Like I said, hey, it says early access work in progress. Like I said, just be aware of that if there's any bugs or what have you. Oh, man, I am pumped, though. It's been a while since we've gotten a new state, a new DLC, and it's finally happening. I do not know why my gear shift wasn't working there for a second but it wasn't no need <laughs> no need to worry about that though right yeah so i had one of what i what i believe is the new uh you know um livestock trailers i believe is the new trailer that's being introduced uh i had that but i had a job going somewhere else so i yeah, really would have right. loved to take it going up to um, Wyoming, but at the same time, it's just what we're gonna have to deal with. Right. All right. So, like I said, a beautiful, it's a dark, dark morning here. We're gonna go here. It'd be nice if uh, it shifted properly. That is not a fault of the game. That is a fault of my shifter, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, the sun rising. This is gonna be pretty. Oh, we got a car, I think, trying to pass me here. Go for it, bud. You can take it in your charger. Oh man, but I hope you're having a great Wednesday wherever this video finds you. I am putting this out basically as soon as I can and uh, you're gonna be able to see it. If you wanna get the DLC for yourself, if you wanna add it to your wish list, what have you, a uh, link will be in the description to it on Steam. But if you're watching this, don't you already have it in your wish list? Don't you already have all of the DLCs? Aren't you waiting and chomping at the bit for every state like I am? Because, man, Convoys also has just wakened. Uh, I just, just, I've come back to this game with new eyes. And I love, I love ATS. But, man, uh, as we get into Wyoming and... Eventually, you know, Texas, I'm just so pumped to see as we go more and more across the United States. Oh, I really need to put the me uh, pedal down to the metal. It's uh, 65 through here. We got some bends, but nothing, nothing too serious here. And this is exactly why I wanted the morning. The morning is so pretty in this game. Night is night uh it, it can be it can be pretty it can be great visually but it's usually pretty dark and uh 
pretty impossible to see. I don't want to be going in uh, with that, you know? All right, we are going to be hopping on the highway here. Turn I am left. definitely going to need some fuel. Definitely going to need some fuel. That'll be fine. Not a big deal. But uh, let me know, what are you most excited for in Wyoming? What state are you most excited for going forward in ATS? Um, you know, of course, me being on the East Coast, selfishly, I'm very excited for the East Coast, even though that's probably obviously a little bit out, uh, a little bit out of the ways. Um, but of course, I want to see what they're able to do with my state of Pennsylvania. I want to see the Northeast. Uh, I'm really excited for all that kind of stuff. Also, by the way, using no mods, this is a completely stock game, completely stock save profile. Um, no hacks, nothing, no, no mods either. Um, and, uh, that's also to make sure that nothing, you know, is conflicting with this new map because this is an early access build to it. Uh, we don't want to have any mods conflicting with anything that we're seeing or, you know, breaking any of the experience that I'm showing you guys. But it's good to be back. I told, uh, I was talking to some of you uh, that had watched my chase me's. Uh, the last week I was gone, we went down to uh, Deep Creek Lake, Deep Creek, Maryland, and that was a lot of fun. Went down there with some, uh, with my girlfriend, family, and everything. That was a really, really good time. Oh, look at that. We got a 75 through here. Oh, man. Having that stability down really makes you not necessarily want to take stuff at 75, even though it's fine, you know, just gives you a little bit of wobble there and you're like, Ooh, <laughs> what's going on? Man, I love this truck too. Also, I want to know what's your favorite truck in the game and why, you know, obviously, uh, this Kenworth is just like, looks like what, you know, I always imagined as a kid, what trucks are and what trucks look like, but of course, there's a lot more modern iterations of trucks, and I love all. I love a lot of the trucks in this game. It's just, you know, I like the options for this truck too. Stock. It's got a lot of good, good options that you can do with it. I like how I've, you know, modified it to what I want it to be. Of course, there's also a lot of modded trucks out there, but this is, uh, oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to probably keep a lookout for fuel here. I think I'm going to get some fuel. It's gonna take a little bit of, actually don't know how this exit works, to be 100% honest, but we're gonna do it because I wanna get fuel, I'm pretty low right now. I just got the you're running out of fuel info, which you probably won't see the, uh, the HUD there. Turn Wait, can left. I turn here and actually get fuel? Oh, there was one right there. Why didn't I just go there? This is going to kind of suck, I think. Oh, well, it is what it is. Also, I'm just using my mouse like a pleb. I don't have track IR or any of that stuff. For the most part, I honestly don't feel like I really need it with an ultra wide either, uh, to be 100% honest. Um, Keep left. I'm using the and BenQ uh, Moby. Ooh, got a little bit of hiccup there. Uh, I'm using the BenQ uh, ultra wide monitor Very that left. they sent me that I'm going to have a video up on shortly as well. Rerouting. Okay, bud, I kind of wanted to get fuel. Really came into a stupid, stupid spot. All right, GPS, we get it. We get it. When possible, make a U-turn. There's no need, man. It's right like real life when you leave the GPS on in your uh, on your phone and you go into a gas station, <laughs> and then all it does is complain the entire time. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? 
All right, we are fueled up and we are gonna flip around here. I do wanna mention that uh, I just had a little bit of, you know, almost flip book action. Uh, I had the game like lag out with me when I was getting, go going to get fuel uh, here. Uh, diesel. <laughs> Make sure everybody knows. Oh, don't wanna kill that guy. Nobody's coming the other way. Um, yeah, don't know what that was about. Who knows? Could be Windows. Could be this this early access build. I do not know, but I definitely just had a little bit of lag. A, a lot of lag, actually, when I was trying to fuel up there. So just to want to make you guys aware of that, but I don't know what caused it. You know, could be anything. So we're going to hop back on the highway after we got fuel here. We're fueled up, ready to go. Keep left. Continuing to deliver our flour into Wyoming. Yeah, I just can't wait. You know, after watching videos, um, there's only so much uh, you can see, right? And I say that as a person that you're watching this video right now. But there's only so much you can gather. Oh, he's stopping for me? How nice. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. Definitely no need to uh, let me go or anything, but super nice of him don't know why he stopped there really it's honestly sometimes the traffic you know it's really uh it's really considerate other times it's absolutely not and it's the worst but sometimes it's considerate we've got the super short on ramp it is what it is we're gonna have no problems getting on here and then we got a nice beautiful speed of 75 all right, well, let's settle in and go for it. But man, yeah, so driving down as well as coming back up from Maryland this weekend, man, that interchange uh, is beautiful. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, ups and downs, uh, a lot of hilly sections that uh, have, you know, truck runoffs, um, you know, if the brakes fail or what have you. Um, but some absolutely beautiful sections. And it was kind of foggy, uh, a little bit foggy when we went down, when we were driving down to Maryland. And then it was extremely foggy coming back up, uh, but really, really pretty. Um, and just saw so many, so many trucks. I mean, I already do already see a decent bit of trucks being in Pennsylvania. Um, we are like the corridor to the, the Northeast. Um, specifically, you know, New York and, and the states above, but it's just, it's just crazy how many huge warehouses are also along that route too. That is one of the reasons why I'm super excited to see the East Coast. It's not just the selfish reasons of like what it can look like. It's also the, there's just so much. Uh, there's so many distribution centers and, and what have you. Um, it said I had to pull in, right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going into the way station. The GPS. <laughs> All right. I stopped. All right. <laughs> it let me know my vehicle is not in perfect technical state. And I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> I don't think it's from this trip, to be honest. Also, I should have made mention it to, to it before, but I am going to also timestamp uh, when we go into Wyoming. Um, it'll be obvious that, you know, you're able to hop to it on the timeline on YouTube uh, with the chapters feature. But just wanted to let you know if you're just watching this and you really just want to see Wyoming or me heading into Wyoming, that I'll definitely timestamp that uh, for you guys. But if you just got if you guys just want to hang out with me on this trip, you, you know, free field. Feel free to do so, but also, you know, I get it. Where you want to see Wyoming? That's the whole point. Goodrich and Wiggins, classic. Keep right. And Funny enough, I think right. that's definitely where we're at. It. Actually, I don't know. Exit right. 
When are we hitting Wyoming? I, I honestly don't even know. I would hope there's a welcome to Wyoming sign. Oh, funny enough, too. Coming back into PA, there's a welcome to Pennsylvania signs, but on the one, it's just on the bridge. <laughs> Super legit. Just being mounted to the bridge. Oh, I like I like this interchange. This is a cool looking interchange. I love I love the dynamics of, you know, going above and the road, you know, road systems when they well, when they basically sometimes have to do exactly what we just did based on the based on kind of like how the land is. But that one is, I think, just, you know, completely man made to to kind of help lessen, you know, the density, uh, the, the traffic density there. All right. Let's wake her up again. We're on 34. Does this head into Wyoming is the question. Hopefully on. that's not the welcome to my Wyoming sign, right? <laughs> not an insane amount of traffic out today either. I mean, I guess we are kind of in the middle of nowhere, but not a crazy amount of traffic out here. Also, that's my auto Jake. Uh, yeah, like a pleb too. I've got the brake system to auto Jake. Gotta love it. Windows just took me out of my game. That's a classic. That's a classic Jeff moment right there. It seems to always do that for Jeff. But I also just got the, you know, Windows needs to update. And it took me out of my full screen game to do so. Man, Windows. If, if anything, the only thing that would make me switch to Windows 11, like day one, is if they were like, hey, we don't do that. <laughs> we won't pull you out of full screen experiences like that. Hey, we also, you know, won't completely break your audio every time you go in to record something or what have you, you know, but I highly doubt that any of those things are going to be what we get. Also, honestly, I could, I could go into higher. Oh, you know what? We're not going to necessarily need to. We're Collins, Denver, right lane. So we're going that way. I guess this is still us. This is basically still us going into, uh, back back uh Exit back right. traveling backwards kind of but i think this is where we are going to be making our trip the other way into wyoming nice i can bypass the nearest way station Off we go. Off we go. Keep left. I do believe we are coming up. Yeah, we got a Cheyenne sign. So I think we're coming up on Wyoming here. 
doing almost 70 miles an hour. I love, you know, 65, 75 highways. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Got a little bit of an incline. I think this is going to be our welcome to Wyoming, though. Seeing a lot of stuff on the horizon here. Do we have a welcome sign? There it is. Welcome to Wyoming. I'm going to get a quick screenshot, guys. All right. I got a quick screenshot um, just so I could have, you know, some good thumbnail material, basically. And we are continuing on into Wyoming for the first time. Oh, man. It's so exciting to get a new state in. Uh, what did that say? Pre-pass? Oh, look at that building. That's a cool looking building. I wonder if that's like the... Oh, that's the information center. Oh, I'm going to pull into the information center. I want to check it out. That is a really cool looking building. So don't mind me as we completely just go off of our route to go into this information center. But I'm really. Oh, and this is a really cool bridge right here. Oh, son of a. It needs me to pull into the thing. I just wanted to see what was going on over here. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to do that. But let's go ahead and drive into this welcome center real quick. And say to ourselves, welcome Driving to Wyoming. New route. There's no uh, point of interest here, but there is a rest station. So that's good to know. Oh, this is a sick looking, like, look at that sign. Find, I'll find a new route. I love buildings like this. We don't have nearly as nice, you know, welcome centers. Uh, in PA, we have like those little Let's stops, um, but there's not, it's not nearly as nice as that. I'm going to, okay. Rerouting. Yep. I guess I'm not going to flip around in there. I definitely could have though. Recomputing. They kind of put all the trucks down here, I guess. Makes Make, sense. Make a U-turn when okay. possible. Let's find a new route. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll make a U-turn. When possible. Make a U-turn. Man, the GPS, she, she does, does not stop. Um, this is cool to see kind of where we came in again, too. Oh, man. What an awesome, awesome entrance to a new map. I don't know what the other ways uh, look like. Well, we got the RV Pump Point Classic. Um, you know, I don't know what the other entrances look like, but I'm actually kind of glad that we entered this way. This is a pretty cool way to enter in a pretty cool, you know, welcome center and all that stuff. Um, I will now, I guess, have to go to the way station that's along this. So that's not necessarily fun. I don't know why I have to because I took the exit, but we'll see what we got to do. That's not a big deal. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Roundabout. Exit now. It's interesting little roundabout there. Oh yeah, port of entry. Okay, so it was I was gonna be going to it anyways. It just it just came up just because I was kind of making my way towards that direction, right? Oh, I'm gonna merge in front of you, buddy. There we go, port of entry. Interesting looking like way station. Never mind. I'll find a new route. Huh. This is Go straight on. Find I mean, I guess all way route. stations and then this being a port of entry, all of them look good. Uh... Oh yeah, Cheyenne, port of entry. Oh, that's really cool that it's marked like that. All right, yes, I understand my vehicle's not in perfect state. It'll be fine though. What do you guys care about safety on track on trucks? All right, let's see what merging's like. Trying to get back on here. Doesn't look like we got any traffic good. Luckily, it's a exit lane too, so we've got a lot of time to merge too, which is good. So what do you guys think so far? I'm so excited to be in Wyoming. So excited to see, even just from this trip on the kind of east side, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, just super excited to see 
what it's got. Um, you know, they even made mention to in the videos and the stuff leading up, you know, that this is a very, oh, we have a detour guys. There is something going on on the highway. Uh, fire truck acts a fire, I guess. Oh, no crap. Okay. Well, no big deal. We'll reroute. And that's insane to see uh, already in, in this. I know that those can happen on any other map, uh, but crazy to see that right as we got into here. And we're going to have to, I guess, follow all the GPS here to route back around. So, yeah, we're going into Cheyenne. I knew we were going to like basically be going through Cheyenne or going past Cheyenne, but looks like we're going to go right through it. Keep right. Uh, but yeah, what I was right. saying is, you know, SES even said about, you know, this is a, this is one of the least populated states, uh, but that doesn't mean that it's right. not a beautiful state. Oh, we got, look at those. There's a, uh, you know, factories out in the distance or what have you. Ah, oh, this is so sick. So sick. Get ready to turn left. All right, we are going to slower up here. Turn left. Um, but yeah, it doesn't mean that it doesn't have beautiful views. It doesn't mean I have all this farming, all this what have you. So I'm so pumped to discover the rest of what Wyoming has to offer. And like I said, I'll be 100% doing it in future videos and I can't wait to uh, convoy in this. Left. That'll be so, so fun. Turn left. Oh, and thank you, Light, for changing at the best time that it could have changed at. All right, back onto the highway after our little detour. Not a problem. Get on here. This is cool though. Hey, anything, you know, that makes me spend more time in this, <laughs> uh, even for this video, you know, the better. I I want to, you know, see as much as I can of, uh, of Wyoming. Keep right and then exit right. Right. Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> Just coming right over. I, I still don't understand these really short you know, on ramps and stuff, but I get it. If that's what they are in the state or if that's, you know, realistic to some of these areas, fine. I just wish they were a little bit longer, to be honest. Happy Jack Road and Missile Drive. <laughs> what even is the name of that? Oh man, Central Business di District. Highway 65, just making sure I'm doing it. I just can't wait to see, like I said, I, I can't wait to do the livestock trailer and do some other stuff here. That'll be really exciting. And I'm wondering, you know, if there's a, if there's some large loads that you shut down the highways, it'd be cool to do that in Wyoming too. Didn't even need to do that. Don't know why I did. Wheatland. <laughs> and let me uh, let me know too what you want to see in ATS. If you want, uh, I really liked. Uh, you know, obviously, I love listening to Jeff and I love love watching his videos. But uh, let me know if you want any similar videos to you know a a uh, commentary list. You know, if you just want the drive, sometimes uh, I feel like that would be cool to do too. I'm trying to hijack everybody's ideas, but you know, when there's good ideas out there. 
on commentary com uh, I've done commentary list content before uh too so I didn't even realize I went up to 75 <laughs> but I've been putting the pedal to the metal so oh and that's uh, speed limit 80 nice obviously oh I was about to say obviously just for cars but no speed limit 80 for trucks included awesome Wyoming I like that. What does that sign say? Oh, road closed when flooding? Is that what it said? I think it did. Wyoming really prone to flooding? Oh, it's even got like a... They've even got like signs for it. When it floods, I guess. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it was talking about. That's no fun. Uh, see, this is exactly why I left at, you know, whatever, you know, 5 a.m. in this is because I knew that it would put us in here right around noon or so and actually be able to allow us to see the state. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is super, super pretty. You don't realize, I guess, too, you know, there's just a lot of, a lot of really pretty land in the United States that I guess a lot of people, including myself, a lot of times don't appreciate. They're like, I'm all over the road. Oh, hey. Do you like that joke? <laughs> Oh, hey, man, you're slowing down a lot here. I don't know if that means he's taking an exit or what. Speed limit is 80, though. He did not. He's just going a little slower. I was about to say, I think we're going to go and pass him, but I don't, I don't know that there's a need. He can basically kind of set the speed if he wants to. We can just hang out with him. Douglas and Gillette. That is where we're going. Well, we're going to Gillette, uh, which is that why? Is that the name of the, you know, it makes you wonder, was the town named after the, is, is, is it related at all to the brand of Gillette? I don't know. Oh, 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 that slows up a lot more than you would think. A lot more than you would think. Weird split that it really doesn't have like a exit lane. Going to take some getting used to that kind of stuff. Does this have an actual proper on ramp? No, it does not. Looking, looking, looking. We are good. Keep left. Probably shouldn't be using my Jake left. coming into town. Turn left. Little, little Jake there. Little, little Jake break. All right. What do we got going on around? Just figured I'd look around here. Nothing really crazy going off here at the Gillette exit or the exit to go to Gillette. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. <laughs> you guys get it? Oh, we got some hilly action here. Nice. I love these kind of 
you know, back, you know, these single lane roads that go through here. This is, you know, very Pennsylvania to me. Uh, going, going through roads that kind of, you know, carve in as well as, you know, break through stuff as opposed to going over or, you know, just, just highways all the time. So I, I kind of really like this kind of stuff. What do you guys think, even regardless of state, I know I've asked a lot, but like, I'm really curious, you know, because I know this community is so vocal about certain things, but what, you know, state are you most excited for other than your own? Like I said, I know it's very easy to be selfish and want your own and think that it's the coolest state, but like what other than that um, is like the state you're most excited out. for? Because I feel like Texas is honestly up there and I'm so glad that it's next. Like it's, it's one that I'm super, super excited for. God, the traffic's gonna be nuts though. Because that state is, it's traffic is nuts. <laughs> It's highway system is nuts. Oh, this is 70 through here. Nice. Don't mind me. I'm just petting my cat off. Uh, <laughs> Nicola's over here and I'm just petting him while he sits right next to me. You're distracting, Nick. If I 100%. If I was a truck driver, Nick would be with Keep me though. Right. Keep on my truck cat. I can't believe the speed limit's 70 through here. I guess for the most part, visibility's good. And you know, it's pretty flat, but geez. Oh, there we go, we got a 55. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I know it still says 70 on my thing, but that definitely said 55 for the turn. Also, seriously, another great job ATS, uh, or SCS, sorry, uh, in ATS. This is an awesome, awesome DLC. We've waited a long time for it, but like, I'm, I'm so excited and this is great to see. And I love the, and it's the detail. It's, it is, it is making you feel like I've never been to Wyoming, but like, it makes you feel like you've been there. They, they do, they nail it every time. that billboard say Left. oh man lots of fireworks lots of fireworks in wyoming lots of billboards for fireworks at least all right it's feeling it slows up to 50 up here and let's slow down for that 50. get into the right lane here and the right lane immediately ends. Cool beans. <laughs> That's probably to let you get on or off there easily. Definitely considering the speed limit 70, you know, through a lot of this area. All right. Very, uh, very fun trip here. We're shortly, I believe, going to get to our destination here in Gillette. And then, yeah, in a future video, of course, like I said, I'd love to do, uh, I'd love to convoy in here, but also I'd love to do the livestock trailer and some other stuff. So here we go. Gillette go discovered. Gillette discovered. Oh, let's stop for this light. That was a stop for sure. All right, we're in Gillette, the best a man can get. <sighs> Hate that brands are so influential on our brains. Got a little, a little Freightliner dealership off to our left there. Here we are in Gillette. No engine brakes, copy that. Using one a little bit because, you know, I had my break. <laughs> uh, don't get Go over. I thought that uh, 
yellow uh, truck was going to get over there. Snuck through that light there. This is a cool little town of Gillette. Oh, do I need to go to the port of entry again? I hope not. I hope because I'm already in here that I can just go right into uh, where I'm delivering. Lots of traffic in Gillette. <laughs> you know, might not be very densely populated, but lots of traffic. I can tell you that. You get in. Then again, it's four o'clock. Makes sense. Oh, don't. Oh, I'm going to miss the lights. Damn it. Your fishtail seafood. Damn you. I think I might want to be in the left lane. Where destination is on, is on the left. I don't know if the road. We'll see. We'll see. what we'll, Whatever we got to do, we'll do. Welcome to Gillette. I'm gonna get into this left lane a while because I think go that's where on. we'll need to go. Oh, son of a... Uh... Ah, we made it. <laughs> Did not get a red light offense. I'll take it. We are not gonna make this one though. Oh, what do we got going on here? Oh, there's a bank. Uh, not much else. <laughs> Go straight on. All right. I think we're going to be turning on the light. The next light up there to head into our destination. Um, But yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm really enjoying Wyoming. The very little I've seen of it so far. And like I said, too, if you want to see more of Wyoming, I really appreciate it if you like this video and if you subscribe to my channel. Um. Thanks again to uh, SCS for sending me over code. Um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of, you know, popping around here uh, every once in a while, but I'm hoping that doesn't desync. Uh, I feel like I've I've probably cut around some of them. Um, if I feel like they've, it's not, and it's not that honestly, it's not to hide anything. It's just to make it so that to ensure that I'm not having desync on my footage or anything. Uh, there was once or twice that I definitely restarted a recording because I wanted to ensure that nothing was desynced. I'm going to be going behind this ambulance here. Sitting in Gillette. Little Rose Motel. Little cool building back there. As I wasn't paying attention. We're going to be turning right, right away. Yep. We're going to be going across. Keep right and then turn right. Hey, look, an ATS bank. How about turn it? Right. <laughs> How about it? All right. We're definitely going by the building that's definitely not Napa. Over the railroad crossing here, Get right before our rail export. Weird that this is kind of Turn like left. in a neighborhood <laughs> or right next to a neighborhood, I should say. Sucks for these people. All right, and here we are at the rail export. Turn left. Oof. Over the crap out of it there. Maybe that's why I have damage to my truck. You have arrived at your destination. 
Your rap guidance is now finished. Thank you so much. All right, we're going to do where do you need it. I'm going to attempt to do my best delivery job that I can. And uh, actually, where do they need it? Hey, we're going to find out. Let's let's go in here and see where they need it. I think it might be in a line over here. It does appear so. Okay. That's not a problem. We're going to kind of pull. Actually, I'm not going to do this blind. I'm going to go around and I'm going to use this area right here to flip around. I do not want to do it blind. What do you guys think? Oh, am I going to be able to clear that? I just cleared it. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead, sneak out here and kind of go along the sell goods and kind of get a good angle here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. All right. I've already upset my trailer. See, this is the mental game. So it's it's so much harder for me. And I don't know why. I feel like I'm pretty good in 3D space. Um, but it is so much harder for me to figure out how to do this just in the cab. And maybe that's me and my skill set. Oh, there's a little little hoppy, hoppy action there with the frame rate. But you guys know what I mean. And I'm assuming other people struggle with this as well even in games like this, or even, you know, people that go from trucking, uh, real trucking or what have you, to doing stuff like this. But I feel like I'm slowly getting better, but yeah, sometimes, right like this, I'm def, def gonna cheat. I also def don't wanna just completely destroy this other trailer that I'm parking right beside. So let's straighten out. This is gonna be <laughs> tight. Oh. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? That is not great, but I'll take it. <laughs> and we'll shut off our engine and we will deliver this. All right. Excellent. I'll take it. We'll continue on. So, like I said, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Wyoming so far? Uh, like I said, I really think it's awesome. I We've been waiting so long for another DLC. Do we have a train going by? Oh, how about that? We got a train going by, nice. Um, But yeah, it seems, seems like an awesome map so far. Uh, if, like I said, if you saw any hitches or, you know, if I experienced any hitches, this is still early access, still a work in progress. So know that, um, that this not, might not completely represent the final product that we're getting next week. So, but like I said, September 7th, uh, add it to your wish list on steam. If you want to link in the description, uh, if you haven't already, and, uh, I'm excited to do more Wyoming content and more ATS and more of the States as they come out. Like I said, cannot wait for Texas, but we got Wyoming and it's it's going to be so cool. So cool in convoys. So cool to see more of Wyoming. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video and uh, I hope you liked it. I'll see you soon.